Hi, welcome everyone. My name is Bruce Schwartz. Thanks so much for taking the time to subscribe. Got a good video here for you guys tonight. Um, we're going to look at some hazes, smokes, dusts, clouds on the surface of the moon. Get some music up and I'll be right back with you guys to talk about some surface anomalies. Here's a little bit of some funky music before we get to the structures. This is Eratos, today's creator, just at the end of the Apennine Mountains. These are the Apennine Mountains. Could they be hiding the surface of the moon up there just with vapor or just with clouds by chemtrailing? Well, you wonder, you do see a lot of, you know, smokes, hazes um, on the moon. And me, just, this is what I think, is that basically there's this, this really heavy layer of smog. And again, we don't know what it is, whether it be, uh, whoop, there's a plane. <laughs> there could be a few planes up there too, on the moon. Who knows? You know, outer space is outer space. But once we get into that envelope around, in the atmosphere around a planet or moon, tend to think that it's pretty much unique inside each sphere of water. Who knows? This area that I showed yesterday with the green um, patchy objects around, look what it looks like. It's white, right? So it, it's very blinding on the surface and you can't see what's on the surface and you just invert it. Here's just in black and white and itself, even there, it still looks uh, patchy. You still can see some patchiness. And again, I'm just theorizing. I'm just showing you guys what's up there. Um, who knows? Who knows what's up there?
Right in plain view in front of us, there are objects that are square, rectangular, that have symmetry. Some are triangular shapes and they're near perfect. Of course, with the atmospheric disturbance, and this is in the Apennine Mount, uh, sorry, sinus iridum, just at the end of the apple bite, there's no doubt about it uh, that the surface has these constructed objects and it doesn't just have one. So it started off by me finding these objects, me thinking they were actual, maybe con con um, like buildings, right? But then by zooming uh, up even closer on top of those objects, I'm seeing even smaller objects. And then that's when I started understanding the camouflage, whether it's natural or not. Let me tell you something. It's really there. It could be natural, right? But then again, look at this object on the surface that we can see with a green filter, simple green filter, two objects, a black one behind it and a white one in front of it. They're different objects. It's not a shadow. We have dark structures and light structures, covers, right beside Bianchini Crater to the right of Sinus Iridum. We see these objects and blurry spots and patches between those big high elevated connected objects. So we have a, a sort of system or you know, constructed or organized way of the surface being possibly even inhabited or, you know, having industrial complexes there. When you really look at some of these setups, and I do call them setups, see that? The blue spot at the bottom of Copernicus Crater. Well, check it out. We're going to go see the blue spot. Just invert the photo to see the elevation of the surface. And I always like doing that. There it is. Just plain and simple way to see uh, the surface. Now, of course, we can't see the nit and gritty, small, very small details. Obviously, whether it be due to optics or not, I still need a bigger telescope. A bigger telescope is going to show us so much more. Merimbrium, check it out. This, because uh, we can't get under the haze, guys, right? We can get between it, scatter it a bit, uh, adjust it, see through some of it, but it's there. It really is there. The Apollo 11 supposed landing was in Mare Imbrium, so it's going to take a quick look at the inverted uh, inverted version of the surface right here. Eratosthenes crater, just at the end of the Apennine Mountains. We're going to see here right after we get through uh, the view of Mare Imbrium. Can't see much, can we, eh? Always hard to see where Mare Imbrium is, unfortunately. Too bad. That's where they said they landed. Um, Eratosthenes, and I'll show you a couple of nice views, but all around um, Eratosthenes. Look at the elevation. Here it's pretty cool to be able to see it. And yeah, there's no flat surfaces. Not, not very wide anyways, not very many miles <laughs> wide on the surface. This is my mailing address. Houston, say again, please. <laughs>